All right, y'all, it's been a minute. Uh, we just got done with uh, 2022 uh, Wisconsin nine day gun deer season. Now it is muzzle loader, and then we've got holiday hunt after that. So, unfortunately, I'm stuck in the blaze. Personally, I can't stand it. Don't want to wear it unless it's gun deer season. But that's another time. Uh, while I was out sitting, I saw a fisher run past me at this location. So I'm going out right now to go set some uh, cubby sets for him and see if I can make anything happen. I got just over a month to fill this tag and I've been procrastinating, slacking off a little bit. So I really need to step it up and get my sets out. Uh, got a bit of a snowstorm going as well. We're supposed to get between five, seven inches, something like that. Who knows? Not holding my breath. But I'm going to get my stuff loaded up in my bag, start heading in. I got good little walk yet because i gotta take this easement all the way in when i get there i'll bring you all by back. the way i'd like to thank all of my new subscribers i really appreciate it uh trapping content hasn't really uh been on the forefront except for that harassment video i do apologize but not a whole lot has happened i caught the beaver i caught the coon and i've got a bunch of muskrat which I've got those videos, the footage for them, saved, and I just need to sit down and actually edit them, but it's hard to edit something. Well, it's not hard to edit. It's time consuming to edit, especially when you don't feel like your footage is good enough to make an episode out of. Now, of course, there's the argument that, well, People want to see it anyway, and I, I could see that too, but at the same time, I want to make sure I'm producing content that other people find interesting. And that isn't to say checking traps, setting traps isn't interesting, but people want to see action. People want to see catches. I haven't had a lot of that. I'm still very inexperienced, so there is some learning that I am doing in the meantime. All right, I'm going to set on this tree. So per the norm, my camera work sucks. Surprise, surprise. What I'm doing here is I'm actually wiring the trap to the leaning tree. And that's the way I'm affixing it. So you can use clips, you can use a lot of different methods, but this is how I'm doing it. I ended up running two sets of wire crossing over to give it a bit of a triangulation, you could say, just to make it more secure. See if I can find some. Some branches. There's a bunch of small pines and stuff down there. I'll just grab a bunch and come back. Yeah, I was sitting right here. So I'll put another one down there.
You're going to see me scoot this muskrat back a little bit because I'm trying to prevent an incidental catch. Uh, if a bird does somehow end up seeing my bait, I would like it to be a distance away from the trap to try and just help me out. Time to move on. Alright, so that's two. I don't have time to get out a second one, a third one. I'm going to have to film an outro. Pretty standard stuff for me, but uh, that's going to be it for this one, y'all. See you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.